I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview report for the week of July the 20th. So the week starts off with two favorable aspects with Saturn. Now they're trines, the Sun on the, on, right on the 21st and um, at the start of the week and then shortly followed by um, Mercury. So a trine is like a softer aspect. So it doesn't mean to say that things are necessarily going to happen without your effort, but let's say that the energy is in place for things to fall into place. Now Saturn, of course, is the planet of, of business. Uh, it's also known as the planet of restrictions, but I tend to like it to say it's the planet of reality. So anything that happens under under um, the vibration of Saturn can be a hard work. So, you know, don't think that things are just going to fall into place without your energy. So often what we need to do is just, you know, put our energy behind whatever's happening. So that gets, that gives it the push. And I always feel that's very much with Saturn that you've got to, you know, give it the push. And it's almost like you've got to step up, put your hand up, get out there, do the work, whatever it is to tell the universe, hey, I'm serious about this and this is what I want in my life. And if you can do that, then it's like these trains set up the energy to open the doors for you. Okay, but it's like the door can open, but you have to be prepared to walk through the door. It's not going to just to happen automatically. But that being said, it's very, very good for long-term plans at the moment. Anything to do with Saturn, as I said, is like solid, it's real. You want to get, um, you know, your plans together. If you didn't, you know, as I always say, if you didn't make goals at the start of the year, then you know what, it's never too late to do so. And we're right now at the middle of the year, so it's a, it's a great time to reassess where you are, where you want to be, and how you're going to get there, and the journey that you want to travel to, to, to get there, okay? So that's, you know, first off. Now, followed that about midweek, we've got a uh, the Sun and uh, Mercury, of course, the Sun and Mercury do travel very closely together. They're never that far apart. Um, they're never really 30 degrees apart. So they connect and they're at the same degree. So this makes things just a little more amicable on the communication level. So if you need to have that heart to heart chat with somebody, then uh, this can be a good time to do it. I wouldn't leave it too late in the week though because right there at the start of the weekend uh, we do have Mars in a square which is a confronting aspect with Uranus and this can cause some tension. Okay, and argumentative, uh, you know, vibe about that as well. I mean, you know, let's not forget that Mars is the warrior and it's very fiery energy. It's a very motivational energy on the, on the plus side and it's assertive. It helps you get things done on the minus side that assertiveness can turn into a aggression and, uh, and that motivating energy can turn into a stubbornness. So you put that with a pretty heavy duty energy like uh, Uranus, which is sudden changes. Uh, you know, these two together when they spark and, you know, can cause a little bit of friction. I'm being sort of kind there. So that's over the weekend. So I, you know, would be careful of that. I mean, here's a couple of things to think about. A few of my favorite sayings is, firstly, when you really step out on a limb to make yourself right, then, you know, you automatically make someone else wrong. So that's the first thing. I mean, that's not to say that you don't want to do that, just something to keep in mind. The second thing is not all not all issues are worth going into battle over and uh, you know sometimes if you're the bigger person and you go you know what that's not really that important to me um, things can gloss over I mean certainly if it's an issue that's been uh, reoccurring and you know you feel that you do need to put your foot down well hey 
this energy will help you do that but um, I'm just wanting you to be aware that it can be a, a little destructive if you let it get out of hand okay now uh, right at that same time we've got um, Venus is going to go retrograde now it did move into it's it's in the sign of Virgo at the moment very short stay for now in Virgo two weeks stay one week it's been moving in and next week now starting its retrograde transit it's going to move back in at uh, the end of the month into Leo um, <clears throat> so this gives us a time to in, look at relationships and just like once again uh, over this is happening over the weekend so if you've got uh, something happening with relationships or your attitude towards relationships over the weekend and over this next week it's a great time just to look at where you're at there as well uh, you know have maybe some of you will decide you know what enough's enough I've had enough of tried to make this work forever it's just not coming together but it can help you come to terms with the way things are and generally our disappointments are from our expectations okay so perhaps if we've got just too high an expectation of someone if we just do a little bit of an attitude adjustment well guess what everything can be okay I mean maybe the situation doesn't have to change so much but the way that you think and feel about the situation and if that's not the case well you know hey we all have our choices to make and that's our prerogative and our freedom to do that so this is a time where you can make some choices uh, to either renew or discard very good for dealing with um, old relationships as well I mean somebody may come back into your life or somebody perhaps that you haven't totally finalized um, a relationship and in that sense you can the same thing you can renew or discard so a retrograde transit this is not necessarily all bad you know everything serves us in some way or another even even retrograde um, the Venus and all right so then we've got right at the end of the weekend um, Uranus is going to go retrograde now this is going to make right at this time for let's say a, a week or so week and a half we're going to have five planets retrograde so we've got Venus Saturn uh, Uranus Neptune and Pluto so you know the slow outer planets there are all in retrograde phase at, at the moment so um, Saturn is going to come out of his retrograde on the 1st of October so as I said just for a week or so we've got the five um, planets retrograde so this is going to like make you feel make us all feel like the handbrake is a little bit on that you know we're trying to sort of push through to get things done and uh, you know we've got to wait for people we've got to wait for situations so use this time as thinking time and planning time it doesn't mean to say you can't go ahead it's just that don't continue to you know push your head against the door or whatever one of those sayings are um, because it will happen but maybe there's other things that need to fall into place other things you need to know about I mean um, you, you know wouldn't it be great if we all had our own little crystal ball and I guess astrology you know in, in some sense is like a crystal ball it does give you some insights of you know what's coming up and the energy and the vibration and uh, it's up to me to put that across you in uh, you know translate it in a way that I think it can affect you and then of course it's up to you to interpret my translation into your own life um, but you know it would be great to have a crystal ball to see everything that's going on but sometimes when there's delays in life it simply means the timing's not right and there may be something else and uh, something better coming on okay so try not to force uh, you know try not to force anything 
All right, so all in all, it's a, it's a progressive week. I like it. You know, there's a, certainly through the week, there's some great things to happen there with your planning and long-term plans. I would be a little careful over the weekend. You don't get into a power battle or an argumentative battle with someone, particularly if it's not really worth it. And, uh, you know, give yourself some thinking time this week, so certainly towards the end of the week when all those planets are retrograde, we get like the you know, the fifth planet going into that, okay? All right, I'll go ahead now and do the uh, uh, individual reports. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.